and welcome back to the Geek and B. I am Bianca the B in the Geek and B. Welcome back to my channel. So, first off, as always, I'm going to say you guys should always celebrate your geekiness. There's nothing wrong with being weird, dorky, or geeky. You should not let anyone tell you otherwise. And just a heads up, you might see my dog popping in there on the video, or it'll be sitting here in the background. So that's what you'll see when you uh, if you see this little special thing right here um <laughs> this is lucky by the way so this video is going to be another term description box video so this is actually the fifth box it is it was october's box i believe uh i did get it a little while ago i just haven't had the time unfortunately to film automatically once i got it so i did open it as usual i don't really i can't wait to to film in order to open it so I'm going to show you guys what it is, and we'll talk about it, and we'll see, we'll continue it from there, alright? Alright, so, this is the fifth one. This themed is P3 theme. So originally when I, they first announced the P3, I thought either it was going to be uh, Power 3 theme, which I wish uh, it was, but it's P3 as in the actual club P3, okay? So, uh, it's... It's an okay box, in my opinion. So first off, we have a pin. It is the spot pin, all right? Which is when, uh, if you guys aren't aware, hopefully you guys are, but uh, when it was it was an episode, Piper wanted to reinvent the whole uh, club. I believe it wasn't doing as well as it was before, or it has been in the past, so she wanted to do a reinvent type thing, and they went, and she hired someone, and he changed the whole inside, and changed the name, and all this stuff, so it was called The Spot. I can't remember if this is the exact logo for it, but it's not probably a most likely thing. This is okay, it is smart, and it's different compared to the rest of this box. This is a slight issue I have with it, and I'll talk about it in the continuation, but it's still pretty good. Um, so we have the spot, which is not bad. I'm not too crazy on it, so I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not. The last two pins hasn't been my favorite, and I really do love the pins the most. I was really hoping to get the logo in a pin, which I did see online. I did find a place I did have it online, and I'll probably post it below. And they have some great charm pins. They had P3, and I, ended and I wanted to wait on getting that one in case they put it in the box and they did it, so now I can buy it. Right, so next off, they have a shirt, which actually I do like. It's Their shirts are pretty comfortable. It's the second time they put a shirt in this. Uh, the first one was the 20 Years of Charmed, or I'm, yeah, the, something like 20 Years of Charmed one from the first box. So it's pretty much a plain black shirt with the P3 logo, which I actually pretty, I really like, and I cannot wait to wear. Uh, it's, it feels really, really nice. And it's just basic, you know, P3, which is awesome. So that's that. Um, and then I have another one. I'm never going to use it because I don't really wear this. But they have a beanie. Alright. And it is says the power of three will set you free. Which is actually nice. Hold on. Also let me rephrase this. I'm looking at the little Baymer pamphlet they gave. And it's actually a night at P3. It's not just specifically P3 themed. My mistake. I was sworn it was just P3. So this is what I was hoping you get a little bit more of, having like the power three thing. It's a purple beanie, so they've been doing a lot of purple thing, which I love because I absolutely love the color purple. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> what happened? I'm sorry, he's seeking attention. Um his head might pop in and out. So um so yeah, so I like that it's purple. I don't wear hats, let alone beanies. So I'm, this is not something I'm going to wear particularly. Uh, but maybe later on, I'll, I have a bunch of things that I'm not using from these boxes. I'll probably put together as some type of giveaway later on in the future. Okay. The next one, I actually, I'm not going to lie, I do like, and I think it is really nice. This one, I actually really do like. It is a pint glass. And it says, P it has a P3 logo in purple, and then the bottom has, like, this purple piece, like, a little purple thing to it. So it's, like, basic glass, and the bottom's purple, which I actually really do like, and it's really pretty. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this, use it, maybe, don't know when I'm using it. I don't use so much glass stuff, but I'm happy with it, I'm not going to lie. 
Uh, then we have another one, which was very different. It is cute. It, was, it wasn't what I was expecting. And it is a little, like very little, uh, keychain. A P3 keychain. It has like the hook part where you would hook it anywhere. It's a star. It's a nice, nice little clasp to it. And then it has the P3 logo, which was pretty interesting. The only issue I have with this box, and I'll mention it now since I've gone through most of the stuff in the first place, is that a lot of the stuff just has the logo in it. And I feel like with P3, we could have done so much more with it in the different type of things they could have done and things they could have put inside. But I'll speak about that a little bit later on. I have two more items in the box, uh, which are pretty awesome. So this, I'm really happy they did it. And it's another Hollywood miniature. And it's a Piper of when she is uh, dancing on the, on the bar. So if you guys remember, there's an episode where she has her high school reunion. And she ends up getting possessed. And uh, she ends up, there's a scene where... Uh, Prue and Phoebe go to find her and they find her at the bar and she's in this outfit and she's like dancing on top of the bar and everything like that. So they put this, which I actually really do love. One thing that would have went nice with it is the fact of having the some type of extra miniature set of the bar, um, which would have been nice if they did that because like we have this, but I feel like it's out of context context with the other two scenes we have so we have one of the attic and then we have one of the kitchen so the something given so far with it is for the attic we have the book of shadows on the stand that would go well obviously uh they have one of kit the cat which is fine you could put her in either location and we have a kitchen one where it has uh piper and leo so we already have a piper and then i believe we have a phoebe so those all go in the kitchen this one i feel even though it's absolutely gorgeous and i'm super happy there's no background that would work for it to match. So one thing I wish they probably would have put in here is maybe some type of background of P3 out at the bar or that sitting area they always sat in or the stage or something uh, so that we, we have a proper place to put it. Maybe in the future we'll see it. We'll have to wait and see. But this is probably one of my most favorite things throughout the whole thing because it's something different. And it's not just the logo. It's they we created something different with it, which is which I like. So the very last thing is actually pretty interesting, and I do like it. And it's like a poster. It is a poster. It says P three, the Charm Ones, White Lighters performing. Something wicked comes this way, and it says ten twenty one nineteen ninety nine San Francisco. California. So, Something Wicked Comes This Way is actually the name of the very first episode. I'm not sure if the date matches, but there's a good chance the date I just said, 10-21-1999, is the date of maybe of the first episode. Correct me if I'm wrong. And they have, like, an outline of the girls, or supposedly the girls in the background. You can't really tell if it is. It doesn't really seem like it would be the girls in the background, truthfully. But either way, I think it's very, very interesting and uh, very pretty. Uh, me and myself, I don't know if I'll post it up, like put it up on my wall. I have to wait and see. I think it's very cool and something and de different. But, you know, it, it is really, really nice. So, that was the box. My favorite item is obviously uh, this. The miniature, and I really like the mug and the tea. Um, my least favorite items would be the beanie, only because I don't wear beanies. I love the little patch they have on it, and maybe the pin. Alright, so my issue with this box is, if it's P3, I'm going to make it a night at P3. I think they could have done a little bit more with this box, with, with, with just the fact of having more... There's a bunch of things they could have put in. Either they could have had some type of flyer for like Dishwalla or did a tea, like a, a tour tea of Dishwalla. Uh, they could have did something with either like like the Valentine's Day party they had where they ended up turning everyone into animals. They could have did something with either the flyer or like the book. Well, not the book. The flyer for that one or something. Or they could have done... I don't know. I think they, there's a... There's a good few things, that, at least in my opinion, I think they could have done. Maybe nothing too big, but like little things they could have done with 
this because they've had so many stuff going on in there uh, with either battling demons or just having a nice night out or certain things that I wish they would have added to this box instead of just having so many things with the logo itself in it, at least in my opinion. Alright, so now I'm going to get the cheat sheet, the, the bay mirror, and I'll just uh, go through everything, tell you value points and information about who created it and stuff like that. Alright, so it is night at P3, they have the whole bay mirror thing, which I love they do. See, and even in this, they mentioned like the whole fact that they had a big name appearance at the club, including a backstage demon and... Um, they could have done maybe some of the actual performance, like performers or something like that to do with this. And they didn't. That's what kills me. Okay. First one, P3 Soft Tea Logo. So this is valued at $25 and it is uh, by the company that creates this fan mail. Alright. And then we have the P3 Logo Purple Pint Glass, which is also created by fan mail. Um, this one is valued at $15. And then we have the Hallowell Manor Miniature, which is what that miniature line is called. Uh, it's Coyote Piper, which is awesome. I love it. It's by the same person, and I'll put their name there because I'm not, I'm going to really mess up their first name, and I don't want to. They did the artwork for that again, and most likely for the rest of the whole miniature line. Then we have a P3 Nightclub 8x10 poster. So this is a homage to the first episode. Uh, artwork is by Logan Arch. And uh, they say work, they work with Tyler from Logan Arch. I'm guessing Logan Arch is the company. And they worked on this poster, which is absolutely amazing. I love the extra finish they have to it. I know someone that's an artist, and they do that one as well. to like the little glittery um, cover to it, which is amazing. That is valued at 20 bucks. Then we have the P3 logo star keychain. So one thing also for this, there's two different types of keychains. So what they did is they made this a clip, the star a clip. You can also just use the basic circle if you wanted an extra little uh, design to go with it as well, supposedly. Well, that's what they show my as, so that's true. My mistake. Uh, let me correct myself. Sorry if I also sound a little bit weird if I'm sniffling a lot. I'm getting over a cold. And this one was created by Fan Mail. Uh, the Power 3 Beanie artwork is by Winnie Gong. So it's an exclusive, the patch is an exclusive design by uh, Winnie. This one is valued at $20. And then we have the Spot Pin. This one is also created by Fan Mail and it is. Uh, valued at $12. So that's it. And the new upcoming box, which I'm really, really excited about and which I really pretty much like the most out of the whole series is the character boxes. And it is a Prue Hollywell uh, themed box. And this was going to be for January. So I will be getting it until next year. So that was the fifth box in the Book of Shadows subscription series which is a charm based subscription series which i'm super happy about because i think it's probably maybe one of the first ones uh at least that i've been aware of that they have uh this is not sponsored i actually buy the boxes myself they are a bit pricey so just pay mine to that one but you do get a lot of items but if you guys want to check out either this box to get or maybe the past boxes you can check them out at the bookofshadows.com i'll leave the link down below uh Cannot wait for the next box. I'm super duper excited about it and hope they give us more variety, uh, different type of things in it to represent Prue in the three seasons that she was in. And yes, so thank you guys so much for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.